June Storrs was premature in challenging Point Village Square dispute. The Supreme Court has found June Storrs was premature in legally challenging an effort to resolve an issue over the progressing of the Point Village development in Dublin's Docklands. A5 judge court unanimously dismissed an appeal by June's against a 2018 Court of Appeal, COA, decision halting June's challenge until an independent expert had given a decision on the issue. While the COA found the June's proceedings to be entirely without merit, the Supreme Court disagreed with the COA that they were an abusive process and should be struck out. June's claimed Point Village Development, PVD, had, in its construction of Point Square in the Point Village, failed to comply with a clause of a 2008 agreement regarding the quality and standing of the square in the development. On that basis, June's refused to release a or on some payable to PVD on completion of the square. June's argued the agreement meant the Point Square would be of a prestigious standard similar to Air Square in Galway, the Civic Plaza at Dundrum Town Centre or the Grand Canal dot just across the Liffey from the point. Dunes refused to accept the certificate of completion from PVD's architect in relation to the Oyram payment. As a result, an independent architect was appointed by the president of the Royal Institute of Architects to resolve the dispute. Following submissions from both sides to the independent architect, Dunes brought high court proceedings seeking a declaration that the point square design did not comply with the terms of the 2008 agreement. PVD then asked the court to stay the June's case pending the independent architect's decision. The High Court refused to grant a stay saying there were significant disagreements between the parties on how the 2008 agreement should be interpreted. That decision was appealed to the COA by PVD receivers Paul McCann and Stephen Tennant. Last year, the COA overturned the High Court decision and said not alone should the June's case be stayed but it should be struck out entirely. June's obtained a further appeal from the Supreme Court which today found it was not appropriate for the COA to strike out the entire case. This was a case which gave rise to an issue which had not been previously determined in this jurisdiction, Ms. Justice Elizabeth Dunn said, giving the court's decision. It was a case in which the parties agreed to resolve this dispute by means of independent determination by an expert, she said. He, the expert, should be allowed to proceed with his function, she said. The fact that he may be obliged, in carrying out that function, to interpret a clause in the 2008 development agreement does not preclude him from exercising this function, she said. His function necessarily involves the resolution of mixed questions of law and facts. As a mat for more on this story, visit the news article link.